Hey people, it's 10 to 11 at night here in Austria. My dog is sitting on the chair next to me and is sleeping already. I just came out of the shower and I was thinking that I um, actually had a very, um, how to say, very impactful day when it comes to uh, one idea for business that I had. Um, so I thought I could, although I'm not finished yet with the exercise for passions, talents and the market opportunities, just use the first vlog um, and yeah, talk about this idea that I have and the things that I'm doing already. Um, and what I'd like to talk, uh, to talk to you about is uh, an idea that I have for coaching. Actually, I don't like this word so much because it's, it's, it's like... Uh, chewed up several hundred times already and uh, used in many different ways so the meaning for coaching is quite uh, diverse I would say um, where I come from in Germany um, actually anybody can call himself or herself coach and you don't really know what this person actually does normally it's um, I would say almost equal to training somebody or teaching somebody something that you are that you have any kind of expertise in but um, the way of coaching that I learned um, the, the title would be systemic coaching um, is actually very close to a quote that goes back to Galileo Galilei which says I cannot teach anybody anything um, the only thing that I can do is show people something inside themselves show them the path and uh, let them discover it for themselves um, or to say it in the words of Anne, uh, she used this phrase in one of the comments before, um, I, have, I have no answers for you, I just have questions. Yeah, well, um, so I'd like to go into this uh, kind of passion thing that I discovered about a year ago for me, maybe earlier, but I wasn't so conscious about it. And especially like to thank <laughs> at this point uh, Garima and Lisa, uh, who in the comments uh, actually we had a very nice discussion over the last two days um, and very nice inputs and you make me aware that um, how much I really care about this topic and how much this opens up my heart and how much I, I live up and light my fire when I do these kind of things. Um, yeah, well, coaching, I, well, I want to find another word for it, maybe I can coin something new, but this is some point later in time and it isn't, it's not so important right now. Well, what I understand when I say coaching or what I'd like to do or what I'm doing actually is um, I'd say I help people find themselves. I try to guide people the way back to themselves, um, but not because I know the way, but only because I point the finger in a direction that makes them look inside themselves and find answers inside themselves. And a very powerful tool here, of course, is questions because questions for me... Um, Oh, yeah, pointers. So questions direct your own focus in a way um, that can be influenced from the outside. So you can ask yourself questions. You can, let's say, you can sit by yourself and uh, think about your passions, think about your talents. But even the questions Brian posed in uh, the workbook, um, they are a tool from the outside. Um, well, very important for me when it comes to coaching is it's not training. I'm not teaching you anything. Uh, we have a dialogue and um, we kind of enter a room together that is created by both of us if we talk one on one. And um, everybody of us comes in or will, should come in with a sense of and the willingness of, of really listening to each other, uh, opening up and bringing in what comes to mind when we listen to each other. And by this we create this, this third sphere together that we, um, that we can use to discover something new in ourselves. For me it's all about changing perspectives because each of us, when we think just by ourselves, we always have blind spots that we just cannot see. It's not possible because you have your own patterns, your own ways of thought that you've been trained in your imprints, like your blocks, uh, why you have problems with certain things or uh, why you, I don't know, why you find it hard to do something like taking money for <laughs> for the work you're doing. 
Um, and still, there's always a solution inside yourself. I believe this. And it's only the question, how can you solve this? How can you open up this knot? And as a coach, um, I see it as my uh, well duty, my um, privilege to actually ask you things to, so you can step into another location inside yourself, getting another viewpoint inside yourself. And being able to see this whole bunch of uh, woolly naughtiness <laughs> and maybe see the one thread that you can pull on to open up the knot and then suddenly things get easy again and you find new ways, you find new options and um, yeah, this is something that I think it, it, for me at the moment at least it's hard to conceive coaching as a process that you can do well online in a manner that is prefabricated because solutions are very very individual and um, maybe you can say something which uh, serves a pattern that many people have uh, like a like a mindset of the money thing for example that you don't deserve money for what you're doing because whatever you're doing is worthless or whatever um, you know what I mean um, but still, every person is very individual and you have to find the very own points of pain or blockage or the way of thinking you have to understand sometimes or you just have to change it by seeing what you're doing now and looking at different possibilities, focusing on doing something different that makes a difference. Yes, well, um, what I really like um, in accompanying people in that way is this certain aha moment when people um, suddenly light up because they realize what they thought before or the, the roadblock they had before that didn't allow them to go further on that path suddenly is not that important anymore it's, uh, it's not something that can stop you because suddenly you find you, you find an open new way and you can go different ways and you can evolve. Uh, this is freeing up energy inside yourself which makes you free to um, yeah, go on. <laughs> and that makes you um, see new possibilities, new options, new solutions. And um, yeah, this allows you to step ahead. So um, thinking about business ideas and uh, I'd like to open up <laughs> maybe also a little discussion about this or like to ask your ideas about this um, what is in, in, what are maybe situations in which you uh, profited from talking to people in a way that afterwards you found you uh, you had new options, like um, what problems did you have or in what way do you like getting assistance like this? Do you think one-on-one -on -one is the only way or do you think it's possible having uh, like like a, a, a recipe solution for coaching? Um, yeah, actually these are my thoughts for the moment. Um, I will probably go on, or for sure, I'll go on with uh, this uh, this track of thought in the next blocks. Um, yeah, just for the first one, embrace imperfection. Uh, <laughs> happy to get your comments and your feedback, and uh, like to know how you perceive me in this role. Have a nice evening. <laughs>